The Loreto Chapel Staircase by Alexander Waters and Michael Patchett. New Mexico is home to many strange, interesting, and mysterious stories. Among these legends, one of the most well-known and celebrated is the mystery of the Loreto Chapel Staircase. The staircase was constructed in 1879 for the chapel of the girls' school founded and run by the Sisters of Loreto. When the chapel was finished in 1878, the sisters needed a staircase to reach the choir loft, but there was no room to construct a traditional staircase. As a solution, they spent nine days performing a novena, a complex prayer to St. Joseph, the patron saint of carpenters. After the ninth day, a mysterious carpenter arrived in the chapel with nothing but a saw, a carpenter's square, and a hammer. He built the staircase in a few months using only wooden pegs and glue. The staircase is an unsupported spiral with 33 steps and two full 360 degree turns. The original design of the staircase was a simple unsupported spiral, but iron railings and brackets were added later by another carpenter due to the sisters' worry that it would fall down or someone might fall off. Although the brackets were meant to support the structure of the staircase, they actually damaged it by not allowing it to flex and bend like a spring, which is how it, the staircase naturally supports itself. The staircase has been standing for almost 150 years now and has become a well-known legend throughout Santa Fe and the state of New Mexico. The chapel was abandoned by the Sisters of Loreto in 1959. From there, it was bought by a private family in Santa Fe who converted it into a museum and a wedding venue. The chapel now gets 300 to 1,000 visitors a day, depending on the season, drawn by the mystery and historical importance of the chapel. The identity of the builder is one of the main attractions of the staircase. A mysterious man arrived in the chapel, built the staircase, and left. Many claim that it was indeed St. Joseph himself who was the builder due to the masterful skill required to build such an advanced piece of architecture, especially for the time period. The construction of the staircase could also lead to that conclusion. The staircase has exactly 33 steps, which may have significance because it is the same age at which Jesus was crucified. The wood used to construct the staircase is also a mystery. The U.S. Navy performed a scientific study of the wood in 1996, coming to the conclusion that the wood is completely unique in its DNA. There is currently no other known sample of this wood anywhere else in the world. Although it is suspected to be some kind of spruce, the closest relative of the species is native to Alaska. After the staircase was constructed, the sister tried to pay for the wood at the local lumber yards, but there is no record of the wood being bought. To this day, there is no record of the sisters making any payment for the staircase. The construction and engineering of the staircase may e be even more amazing than its origins. The staircase has no central support, and according to all engineers to have surveyed the staircase, the staircase should have collapsed as soon as weight was put onto it, but the opposite is true. The staircase has been shown to support hundreds of pounds of weight. You can see that here in this picture taken in 1959, showing the entire Loretto Choir posing on the staircase. In fact, some engineers have theorized that because of the spring construction of the staircase, putting weight on it may actually make the staircase stronger. The staircase is so strong, in fact, that when the chapel caught fire in 1971, the attachments of the staircase to the choir loft and to the floor were destroyed, but the staircase still stood, completely unsupported and unscathed by the fire. The spring shape of the staircase may be the key to understanding its construction. People who have used the staircase often report a light, almost weightlessness feeling as they walk on it. You can feel the stairs move and compress as you step on them. Some people even claim it feels like walking on clouds. From a girls' school to a museum, the Loreto Chapel has been a key part of the rich history in Santa Fe and the state of New Mexico for nearly 150 years. I would highly recommend visiting the Loreto Chapel Museum and seeing this incredible staircase for yourself. It was a very interesting and enjoyable experience for only $5, and this is coming from someone who usually finds history pretty boring. The chapel is a beautiful place and a great piece of New Mexican culture. Shout out to Brett, our awesome tour guide, and Michael's parents for making me dinner the night before this was due. Thanks for watching, even though you have to, for, for a grade. All right, we're, di we're, we're done now. Okay. Oh, yeah, here's our citations. All right, bye.